Pope Francis. Pope Francis, in September 2017, addressed the missionaries of the Sacred Heart as follows. The original inspiration of your founder, Father Jules Chevalier, was that of spreading devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Today, you strive to foster this devotion and to make it bear fruit through a variety of works and activities that witness to the tender and merciful love of Jesus for all, especially those in greatest need. For this reason, I encourage you, as I do so often with consecrated persons, to return to your first and only love. Keep your gaze fixed on Jesus Christ and learn from Him how to love with a truly human heart, to care for the lost and hurting members of His flock, to work for justice and show solidarity with the weak and the poor. Learn from Him to give hope and dignity to the destitute and to go forth to all those places where people are in need of acceptance and assistance. This is the first gospel that the Church entrusts to you by sending you out as missionaries to the world, to show by your lives and by your works the passionate and tender love of God for the little ones, the underprivileged, the vulnerable and those whom our world has discarded. Although your institute, like many others, has seen a decrease in numbers in these past decades, the growth of vocations in South America, Oceania and Asia has proved comforting and offers hope for the present and the future. So too, the Christian formation of young people, yet another expression of your charism, will be ensured and increased by the works of the Institute. How urgent it is today to educate and assist new generations to appropriate authentic human values and to cultivate an evangelical vision of life and history. Many people consider this a true educational emergency. Surely it is one of the frontiers of the Church's mission of evangelization, towards which the entire Christian community is invited to set out. In continuity with the achievements and undertakings of those who have gone before you, I encourage you to undertake new initiatives also in this specific area of your apostolate. The Congregation of the Missionaries of the Sacred Heart continues to count among its many members a good number of religious brothers. In a congregation, religious brothers are a grace from the Lord. I ask you not to yield to the temptation of clericalism that, as I have often remarked, alienates people, especially the young, from the church. May your common life be marked by true fraternity, which welcomes diversity and values the gifts of all. Do not hesitate to continue and expand your communion with lay persons who participate in your apostolate. Let them share in your ideals and projects and in the rich spirituality arising from your institute's charism. With them, and with the daughters of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, you will form an ever greater and stronger charismatic family, one that will better demonstrate the vitality and relevance of your Founder's charism. May the Virgin Mary, whom you invoke under the title of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, keep you ever close to her Son, ready to do whatever He tells you, and may she protect you with her maternal intercession. 
I accompany you and all your communities with my blessing and I ask you please not to forget to pray for me. Thank you.